playing crazy over here, man. I'm playing crazy tonight. You know what time it is? It's Hardway Jig. I'm so Detroit. You just wanna turn up, man. I'm playing crazy. Turn up, go crash. Check it. I'm playing I'm crazy. I'm feeling tonight. good cause the day over. Time to jump fresh, turn up, get drunk, catch a hangover. Hangover. I told Dip, bring the Range Rover. Now it's time to find a strip of The name Hardway Jig came from actually um a little music thing we started in my neighborhood, like off seven mile, it's hard work entertainment. You know, um, and, um you know, basically all the artists that we we was all homeboys and um we basically just took the hard work and the team and once we started rapping like my homeboys named hard work sunny and you know hard work veil and you know because my, my street name is jig i just put the hard work in front of it and just you know kept it around with it all right so take us through the moment when you decided that you just had to rap um uh, it really didn't happen until like last year like, you know, because I didn't start rapping until I was in prison. You know, I've been out of prison for like two years now. So, uh, I actually started rapping in a hole, like, like, writing, you know. So, I think last year, because uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, Vez had kind of got on me, you know, to take it serious. And just seeing everybody around me, how it was taking off for them, man. I felt like for me, everybody was, was getting on, but wasn't nobody from my neighborhood, which is Seven Mile, really. We didn't have a microphone over there, so I wanted a microphone for our hood because our hood always getting judged. And you know, once I put my first little demo song out and had positive feedback, you know, I started rolling with it. So, do you remember the first song that you recorded? To, uh, it was a song called uh, um, what's the name of this? <laughs> Touchdown. Why you laugh? Because it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. It was horrible. And like, people actually was like vibing to it, but to this day, like, I, I won't never let nobody know about it. That's you know? Funny. It was good, but yeah, touchdown. So, if I put you on the spot right now, could you rap a few verses? A few verses, just about Whatever. anything. Whatever. Anything. Yeah, I could. Okay, let's go. I'm still here with the 40 on me. Big bands in my true jeans. This 40 on me, I'm 40 deep. That's 80 ways we can do things. Shouts out to the Dolphin. They keep calling, I'ma keep serving. No time for you fuck niggas. Fuck y'all. I'ma keep working. Next hell, keep chirping. iPhone, keep ringing. Every time I make a sale, I'm strapped up with two heaters. Star following two leaders. Riding out with two divas. Both of them got boyfriends, so I'm riding out with two cheaters. Shouts out to the cops, bitch. Hacks block, they ain't stop shit. Riding out on my pop shit, but I ain't trying to get pop, bitch. I'm trying to get my bands up, lift all my men's up. Real niggas do real shit. I'm really getting it, y'all real piss. Out of town on real trips, coming back with real chips. I just sold like 10 bowls. Y'all been a minute on pill flips. I'm stopping right there. Tell us about uh, Re-Up Mixtape, and when are you planning on releasing it? Um, the Re-Up, basically the first thing you said was Welcome to Hive City, and that really, like, it told the streets up last year, you know, that was my first mixtape ever, and I just, Listed to the streets. Um, <clears throat> the re the re-up is more of like it, it's not, I evolved on this one. You know. And, um, shout out to a Life Nine Nation studio, this studio right here, because this, this studio where I've recorded everything at and uh these will here tell you like I've grown. As, uh, the first mixtape I was just winging it, you know. Just, I'm just street. You know, this one is I really evolved into it, starting to know what the artist is. And I touched, touched on a lot of topics, you know, that I've been through this past year. And I, I'm, I'm, I can't wait. I'm very anxious. I'm, I'm confident. You know, you can't, can't, can't nobody tell me nothing about this. So how long have you been working on it? Um, I start. It's, it's been going on. It's, it's been going on like about eight months now. Huh? So it, it will, uh, we, it will, we will drop it in December fifth. We just push it back to January just to make sure we got all the proper promotion for it. So January, January fifth, that's when it's dropped. Makes sense. So. For somebody that haven't heard who you are, your music before, what can they expect? Realness. Like I don't, I don't get off into you know we we artists. When you telling the story, every story come with either how you see it or uh, embellishment or whatever. I, I I I try to stay away from that. Even if I rap about something that I ain't got, I will name drop the person who got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm very funny about the realness because it's all I got. You know from so you gonna know. The pain I, do, I went through, the, the, the struggles I went through, like you gonna feel it. 
Uh, talk about the new single No Love. You teased us with a video preview last week. Now we looking forward to seeing what's next. Yeah, no love. The, the full the No Love. Uh, the full video will be out. Uh, that was just a snippet, man. I'm on that. That song came about because you know, you know, a lot of people don't know. I'm talking about it. We you know Vez. That's my half brother, and you know he he get a lot of flack for that King of Detroit. You know, saying he's King of Detroit, and he not once never called himself that. The people called him that. And a certain artist and certain other people, you know, sneak this and they songs and Instagrams, or whatever, at him about it. And like he's down and blade or whatever. He never, not once, said he was the great late ruler or nothing like that. You know, he started seeing it when the people named on that. And after a while, I just did a song because you, you can never mix business and, and personal. But at the same time, that's still my brother. And I feel like, you know, it was, it was something had to be said, so it wasn't really no diss. It was just me, and it, 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 it hit on a lot of other stuff, rumors that were said about me and other people. You know, I'm a type of person. I'm a, a emotional artist. You gonna know everything about me. I don't have nothing. I stand on everything to come out my mouth. So that song right there, once like the full version hit, it will be a lot of topics being you know talked about. So, what do you think separates you from the other Detroit rappers? Um, a lot of people tell me I don't sound like a Detroit artist. Like, it's funny because I come here and I would make a Detroit song and then I would make like three or four songs that I think like Atlanta I like or that, you know, because I started rapping in prison. So like, I got a lot of, I, I did a lot of intake and like watching TV, watching people on BET. I, I did, I don't get caught up rapping about that bag, rapping about that, uh, you know, same old stuff, Gucci, Louis Prada, that's cool, whatever, you know, you like, but that ain't me, I just, I just, it's just real life, it's, it's, it's whatever in front of me, I'll literally walk out here right now and write a song about this, or incorporate this in a song, you know, because I, piece of that. Yeah, I mean, I, that's just what I do, you know, so, you know, you know. All right, so is music your plan A, B, and C? That's it, you see, this is the streets, I got nothing else, I ain't, you know, I, I tell everybody I ain't playing, that's why I'm so serious about it. I'm not, I haven't, I'm, you know, I, I had a rough life, you know, prison sent me back, you know, I didn't do no couple years, I did a few years, and like, this is it for me because as quick as this didn't happen with the buzz I got and the, the response I'm getting from my, it happened too quick, it's like, I've been, I was always counting out and, and I was in a bad position my whole life, but the first time in my life I felt like I'm doing something I'm supposed to be doing. So this is it. So last night, DJ BJ shouted you out Chilling. on the radio. Yeah. I seen you tweet about it. You was pretty excited and stuff. Yeah. Now, um, how did you feel? Like, what did you think when you heard it? I was just like smiling, like them, them fools, fools and G's and Vez. No, they were in the van going crazy and well. But it was, it, it felt good because. I remember, like, this time last year, like, I would tweet DJ BJ and I wouldn't get a response. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they don't know you. It, it ain't nothing personal. You don't know me. You. you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I would told myself, like, he was one of the people that was going to know my name. One, the next year, he was going to know my name. So, when he, when he shouted me out, you know, like, just put a smile on my face. So, is the best out of King of Detroit? Mine. Until somebody else prove it. Yes, he is. And that's all I'm telling anybody. I ain't saying that you gotta buy it out to him, but prove him wrong. But <laughs> well, I've never seen nobody in from from Blade all the way back do what he's done and get the money he get for what he's doing sitting in Detroit City. Never. So what is it like to watch someone so close to you headed down that path that's always on? You know, it's funny because, you know, we we look at it with just Vito, we you know, it, that's that's bad, but um, it's but when we out, you know, you see like girls crying, little girls crying at you, like you crying over this and you know, but no, I feel like I I'm 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 happy for them, I'm proud of them because, you know, a lot of people wasn't just like a lot of people don't know about the young bears days, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas, a lot of people don't know before the clarity one, he was ready to quit. You know, he basically was like, this, if this, if this the clarity one, if this don't take off, I'm done. You know, he was ready to give it up. He, he didn't put out so many mixtapes. You know, he, when you put your all into anything, you don't get the response you want. It just morally, it demoralizes you. You know what I'm saying? It really just breaks you down. So I'm, I'm proud of him, man. I, I wish nothing but the best. And I'm, I'm, I'm there for my brother 110%.
35,000%. I don't play about him at all. But at the same time, I, I focus on myself and I do me. That's why I don't always be around him like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't name drop him like because I'm focused on, I stay in my lane. All right, so going back to the mixtape. What would you say is your number one goal with the release? My number one goal with the release, honestly, is to just be heard. That's it. Just be heard. Like, I can't, I can't, it's not about, like, the, the tweets or the Instagram likes or whatever. It's just to be heard because I feel like I'm heard. It can help somebody else that's in the same situation, you know, that, that I, I that I'm in or where I come from. Cause I, I honestly feel like I come from that, you know, like you, some. It's always something. It's always something holding you back. Every time you think you do, you took a step forward, you take ten steps back. There's somebody out there just like me and went through the mental I went. You know, I feel like I, I like I me. Mean, I feel like I lost my childhood to prison, the prison system. So there's somebody out there like me, and I just want to be heard so they can hear me. Alright. Okay. So, last question. Tell us one thing that we don't know. Like, just anything. It could be so random. It just, something that they gonna read and be like, what? Or, you don't believe um, it. One thing about me that nobody knows is, I don't know. I, uh, I'm a movie head. Like, I, I just, if I'm watching a movie, you better not call my phone. I love movies. That's I can cool. watch movies all day. Shout out to Soul Detroit Magazine, Hard Work Entertainment, CDM, Star Status, my manager Chanel. This is Hard Work Jig signing off. I'm So Detroit.